word aql in Arabic, right? What does the word aql mean? Originally, linguistically, the word aql means to tie something, to prevent something. That's why in Arabic they would say aql al naqa. If you were riding a camel and you would go, for example, to a shop, you come down from the camel, you had to tie the camel so it wouldn't run away or someone wouldn't take it. This process of tying the camel outside of that shop or outside the masjid is called aqal al naqa. It's using a root word of ayn, qaf lam. Now let me ask you this question, the intellect, the power of reason. Why is it using this root word? What does it have to do with preventing or with tying? Can you guess? Why is the aql in Arabic, the intellect, why is it called aql? What does it have to do with this process of, you know, preventing or tying? What's that? To control the nafs. To control the nafs. You were saying something, sister? I just wanted to try, I don't know if I'm sure, no, maybe to distinguish between like not going to which part and to going, I mean, going on which path and not, I mean, refraining from which path. So to prevent from, yeah. for example, the wrong path. Yeah. The reason why the intellect is called aql in Arabic is what you both mentioned. That you use the power of reason to prevent yourself, to tie yourself from falling into corruption. We'll, we'll, we'll address the hadith. Let's we'll just explain what the aql is. So you tie yourself and you control yourself from falling into corruption and from being enslaved to your desires. That's what the aql means. It's something that prevents you. It's a power that controls you and ties you so you don't fall into corruption. That's the meaning of the aql.